Hello. Hello, Mark. Akilesha from India. How are you, sir? I'm good. Are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, I know it's pretty late over there, so I'm just uh, uh, going to start with the interview. If that's all right with you? No problem. All right. Uh, so, firstly, you know, I wanted to ask you this because you were in the UFC three trailer, the recent uh, you know trailer that came out, and the game will be released early next year. So, I wanted to get your thoughts on seeing yourself in a UFC trailer so early in your UFC career. Uh, you know, I've never, I've never really thought about like that, but it's crazy now that you mentioned to me. Now, I'm like you know, it's sinking in that you know it's a, it's a big, sort of a big deal to be in the game. You know, but uh, it's great. You know, uh, UFC uh, sort of have their hope, hopes in me, and uh, you know, it's just about moving forward. It just made me want to work harder, you know, and uh, chase my goals. Right, and the last time we talked, uh, you know, you told me about your reaction when uh, you got the call that UFC signed you. So, just from that to now, you know, being in a UFC uh, video game, just how surreal is it for you at this point? Uh, I'll tell you the truth. I don't, I don't think like that, if you know what I mean. I don't know. I don't know. It's just me. I'm always interested in just fighting and making because I feel like, my goal's not there yet. This is this is it's a great for me. It's great to be in the game and everything, but you know, it just I feel like I'm not there where I want to be. So it's just like uh, just a motivation, but I don't think there's anything of it. If I'm honest. All right. Um. And you know, you were finishing fights with highlight reel knockouts. Uh, your fight with Draka Close, you know, was very close to call, and a lot of people uh, thought that you had won the fight. So, what were your initial thoughts about the outcome of the fight? Uh, you know, at first I took it in, I, I, I watched it, I thought I did bad, but I watched the fight back, uh, I thought I won first and third round, Right. and uh, you know, obviously, I'm not going to uh, moan anything, but he was, he's, a, he's an American, and uh, there, there was it's way if said to go, to go on points, and uh, really, if it was any finish, it would have been a draw, but it wasn't, they gave it to him. Uh, it, took, it took me a while to think about it, but it sunk in. The medals of them leg kicks that I did, uh, which was my fault, really, because I've never been kicked in the, in the calf before. Right. And uh, I, cause that usually it's like a, a fight kick. I can take that for a long time, but it was lucky for me to, to drop that happen to me in the fight, and, uh, which happened, which I've accepted. You know, to me, it's just a learning experience. And uh, right now, I'm just focusing on you know my next opponent and winning. All right, gotcha. And, you know, a lot of fighters also say that they learn more from a loss than from a win. Was it something similar to you as well? Uh, if anything, I'm, you know, for me, I don't accept a loss because that means that, you know, I don't accept defeat. But, you know, I've learned that you know, I can lose at any time, you know, I've got to be more cautious, you know, right now because I feel like now even that, that's why the main reason I moved to ATT full time because, you know, I'm so young, I've realized, you know, it's a fight in the day. Anything could happen. So you gotta do do your best you know, to win the fight. It's not it's not about just standing in front of a guy and then trying to trade. It's about being smart and moving around. You know, getting getting the new times right. Don't just stand there. And that's what I've learned from this from my last fight. You know, be smart and you know wait, learn read the fight, read the fight and stuff is going in and you know fighting. You gotta read the fight how it's going. And that's what I feel. You know, I'm a lot better fighter than I was. So it's gonna be it's gonna be great. Uh, next week. All right, and now since you mentioned ATT, uh, you train with some of the best fighters in the world, and that kind of gives you an added advantage. So, how has your training camp been going into the fight with uh, Dan Hooker? My training camp has been great. You know, I couldn't ask any better. You know, I've had a lot of fight uh, fights with uh, I mean, before even this fight happened, I had to come through uh, ATT to help out uh, Dustin Poirier for his first fight. They were me. Mm-hmm. And uh, I've had T-Bars, he's going to be fighting soon, so I've been, I've been training with him as well. You know, I've, I've had a lot of high-level guys, you know, experienced guys I've been training with, so it's just been, you know, great. Even Santiago, he, he was one of my sparring partners for this fight, and he just won, so that just boosts right. my confidence. All right, and your upcoming fight against Dan Hooker is very interesting stylistically. On paper, it looks to be one of the most explosive fights on the card. So, what do you make of your opponent's last performance against Ross Pearson? Uh, you know, it was it was it was a great fight. You know, I thought Ross Pearson could have won that fight, but you know, uh, but the, you know, it's MMA. It, 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 it still has that uh, old style of boxing technique. You know, it's like giving it away, and it, it, it did the ducking too many times. 
you know, I think Hooker capitalized on it and then, you know, he got the finish, which is, I don't blame him because, you know, he was there. So, yeah, it was, it was a good fight. Right, and you also recently mentioned that you hope Hooker fights with you the same way he fought with Ross Pearson while standing up. Uh, you know, just what do you think of the matchup stylistically between you and you and Dan? Uh, the matchup, you know, I've seen him. I think Cooper is fights, I believe, is not going to he's not stand up, uh, which is going to be great, you know, so we can win some money. I just think, you know, I'm coming for loss and I'm coming back, and uh, and uh, I'm not I'm on, I'm on one of these prospects that people have very high hopes on. So I just want to put on the show for my fans, you know, for my supporters. So that's what I'm hoping for. It's not anything to think, oh, I can't grapple or anything. I just think I'm one of these prospects that people want to see. So I want to put on the show for the fans. All right, and and you also recently mentioned that you've been getting some information from Hooker's camp. Uh, you also said that you know you have something special planned for the weigh-ins. Could you kind of elaborate a little on that aspect, on that statement? <laughs> no, I don't have any plans. It's just you know, <laughs> it, 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 but I I have got, I have had a couple of information by uh, one of these coaches reached out to me and told me a couple of stuff. You know, I, I'm not taking it you know like just as a weapon or anything against him, but you know, it's just. I understand a little bit more about him than I did before, so I've learned quite a bit. Could they get his guys healthy for a while? And uh, I've got messages I could, you know, post it out. Cause, yeah, I don't think it doesn't, it doesn't believe me, but I have, you know, he's contacting me, telling me a couple of things that I need to know. And, uh, and I say, he just made me aware, basically, you know, be fit, be ready, because, you know, hooker, it, it takes to work all year round, and then, you know, it gets mud really easy or anything. So you, you start there, you know, nothing, nothing major. But it's something that, you know, will be from my advantage. All right. Uh, again, not looking past your upcom- upcoming fight, but uh, you might have read Stephen Ray recently mentioned that he would want to end his MMA career with a fight against you in London in March. What do you make of, of those comments uh, uh, by Stephen? Right now, at the moment, I'm just focused on this fight. And uh, it's like, right now, it's irrelevant to me because, you know, he's not even been this time with the UFC yet. And uh, when I, before when I wanted to fight him, he was, oh, uh, you, you nobody, fight some names and I'll fight you. Because now they can't resign, they're trying to use my name to build themselves up to get stuff back in the UFC, whatever. Whatever reason, uh, it's nothing to do with me. I'm just, you know, I'm focused on one fight at a time. All right. And as you know, as you mentioned, uh, fight, the fight with Hooker is very important for you. And with a, a dominant win, it would propel you towards the top 15 in the division. So what's your mindset like going into the, the fight with, with Dan? Then my mindset, my mindset is great, you know. I just, you know, even I mean, see my missus, you know, I'm not thinking about anything else. Thinking about holidays, I'm like, I don't want to think about anything but a win. In my head, it's just, I've got to win. And that, that is it, nothing else. I've had people contact me to be sending out this. I said, no, I've got to win. That's my mindset first. You've got to get the win. And that is it. All right. Now, finally, uh, UFC will be going back to London in March. Is there someone, I know you just said that, you know, you're not looking past Dan, but is there someone that you're looking at uh, in the division after your fight with, with Dan? Uh, we'll see. We'll see, but I need, to, I need to go get past Dan first. I might have an idea, but, you know, I need to get past Dan first and then before I even think about that. All right, fair enough. Uh, thank you once again, Mark, for taking the time out. We appreciate it, obviously, you know, the Indian fans wanted to hear from you. If you have anything to, to say for the Indian fans, that'd be great at this point. No problem, you know, uh, just, you know, I'm back, you know, I'm looking to, you know, uh, finish the year with uh, a good win, so that, that is it, yeah. All right, perfect. Uh, so, all the very best for your upcoming fight, Mark, and uh, I'll talk to you again very soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Yeah, you bye. too, bye.